جی ملیہ نحیات صاحب نظم پڑھیں دے دو مائکروفون دبا کے بیٹھے ہو تم لوگ وعلیکم السلام بشارت دی مسیحا کو خدا نے تمہیں پہنچے گی رحمت کی نشانی تمہیں پہنچے گی رحمت کی نشانی ملے گا ایک فرزند گرامی ملے گا ایک فرزند گرامی عطا ہوگی دلوں کو شاد مانی عطا ہوگی دلوں کو شاد مانی وہ آیا ساتھ لے کر فضل آیا لے کر فضل آیا بسد اکرام شاہد و جہانی بسد اکرام شاہد و جہانی مٹا کر اپنی ہستی راہ حق میں مٹا کر اپنی ہستی راہ حق میں جہاں کو اس نے بخشی زندگانی جہاں کو اس نے بخشی زندگانی یہی مد نظر تھا ایک مقصد یہی نظر تھا ایک مقصد برائے دین احمد جاں فشانی برائے دین احمد جاں فشانی رہی نسرت خدا کی شامل ہار رہی نسرت خدا کی شامل ہار گزاری زندگی با کام رانی گزاری زندگی با کام رانی بشارت دی مسیحا کو خدا نے تمہیں پہنچے گی رحمت کی نشانی تمہیں پہنچے گی رحمت کی نشانی خلاصہ کتاب ملیہ منور 
اردو کہاں ہے بیٹھی اچھا پہلے کیسرا انگریزی میں پھر انہوں نے اس میں غلط آڈر میں لکھا ہوا ہے دوسرا کیسا بتایا نہیں تھا اچھا باجی غلط کر دیتی ہیں چلو ٹھیک ہے کیسا پڑھ لو وعلیکم السلام God. The beauty of God lies in his being hidden from our physical eyes and yet being apparent to us through his creation and revelation. Many arguments are presented in favor of the existence of God. Our senses are used as a learning tool where all information from our various senses have the same degree of authenticity and credibility. For example, our eyes are used for sight, nose for smell, ears for hearing, etc. It would be insane to say if unless we could see a smell, then we shall not believe in its existence. People want to see God, but there are blind people who would ask God to assume some other materialistic form, thus falsifying the attributes of God, such as He is incorporeal and infinite. Hazrat Mirza Bashir Ahmed Sahib also mentions how we cannot see magnetic forces, yet we readily believe in its existence. Time, emotions and sense also cannot be seen, heard, smelt, tasted or touched, yet we still believe in their existence. The arguments in favor for the existence of God encompass the universe, human nature, morality, universal acceptance of God, supremacy of prophets and testimony. Everything in and out of this world points to the existence of God. When we look at ordinary things in the world, we understand that someone must have created them. So when we see something more complex and intricate, we should reach the conclusion with an even higher degree of certainty. <coughs> The Christian Church is mainly responsible for advancing a false and absurd view that there is a fundamental contradiction between science and religion. The book deals with the issue comprehensively and shows that there is not a contradiction between religion and science. In fact, religion and science complement one another. <coughs> It is mentioned that the question of the existence of God is out of the realms of science, as science is concerned with determining properties, characteristics and laws governing material things. It does not set about proving the absence of a certain entity. Its concerns are with existing things. Thus saying that God does not exist is outside the sphere of science, but it can raise the question of how objects came into being and how life started. Scientists find it easy to launch an onslaught against the existence of God due to changes in religious scriptures over time from misunderstandings. But the true views of religion can be found in the original revealed books. The subject of evolution arises, showing that, showing that evolution is not proof of the absence of God, 